fourth week of my nephrology elective. I'm actually doing a visiting clerkship um, at another institution that isn't related to my school. Um, so this is my last week and I've been enjoying it so far. I've been learning a lot um, about the, the kidney, um, which is a very important part of <laughs> the human body. Um, so I actually had a choice between cardiology, gastroenterology, and nephrology. Well, those were my three options um, and I got nephrology. So um, I'm wrapping it up and then next week I start in the ICU. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been ages since I recorded a video. Life happened, well life didn't really happen, life is still happening, but we still have to make these videos. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever um, day, whatever time of the day you're in. Um, welcome to another episode of Chisong G. So today's video is for all of my high schoolers and perhaps freshmen who are planning to transfer into a BSMD program. Um, so I know the application, this is application season for scholarships, for college, for graduate school, this is application season. And so I just want to share a few things um, that I think made me a very good candidate for the BSMD program that I'm in and that might make you a good candidate in the future for any um, program that you're applying for. So the first thing that I think that I believe that made me competitive for a BSMD program was my research experience. Um, I did a lot of, actually there was even a course in my high school. Honestly, it also depends on the high school you went to. I went to a very good, I went to a specialized high school. Um, so there were a lot of resources that were afforded to me. And one of them was research. There was actually a course called Advanced Science Research. So um, part of that course, what was required of it is that you had to have a research project every year and you had to present it. And in order to have a research project, you have to have a mentor. So you have to work in a lab. So that's what I did. I did a lot of research and I remember, I think I even had one published um honestly it was by the grace of <laughs> my my teacher my teacher she used to look out for so many opportunities for us um and she was the one who was like oh yeah you guys should submit this to this journal that um will look good on your applications but i didn't go scouting out for it it was really her mentorship that helped me a lot but research was one thing that helped a lot i guess it just showed that part of medicine is research although you might not be doing wet bench um research in the lab you know dissecting mice and um, pipetting there's other types of research that might be required of you and honestly you're going to be required to read a lot of journal articles to be able to back up why you're treating this patient, why you're managing a patient. You need something to back up why you're doing certain things in medicine and why you're treating this patient this way. Um, so being able to dissect and read a journal article and, you know, bring them all together to support Support, um, a hypothesis that you have it shows that you have potential <laughs> so um, I think number one Two was volunteering and shadowing experience although I didn't really include shadowing experiences on my application it was a good thing to talk about during interviews um, volunteer experiences it just shows that you know what the how, how the healthcare um, field is um, it shows that you have an idea of what medicine might entail um, again you're a high schooler you need to prove to them that you, you have some type of experience. Like, why do you want to do medicine? Oh yeah, you want to help people. As I mentioned in my um, in my pros and cons of a BSMD program, you can help people in any in any field. To be honest, so what what have you really experienced? Where and what did you do? Um, that's something that they want to know. Um, what kind of experience or what kind of lesson did you learn from these volunteer experiences? These are things that they want to know. And it's also something you can include in your personal statement. It's something that you might want to include in one of the supplemental essays when they ask for it. You can just put it in there that I shadowed this person, that I volunteered. You know, it's good. But again, during interview shadowing experiences would be good um, to mention during that time. Uh, the third one, I think it piggybacks off the second statement that I made. You need a strong why, a strong why statement. Why do you want to do medicine? Please do not say I want to help people. 
okay don't be cliche you need to be you need to stand out right you need to stand out why do you want to do medicine what makes you different from the rest of the 17 year olds that say that oh yeah um, i watch Grey's anatomy and it looks cool um yeah i've i've seen someone say like you don't want it to be cliche make it personal okay and usually a why statement they'll have like a supplemental essay or some people they make their personal statement their their reason for why they won't want to go into medicine but you need so overall you need a very convincing why statement if possible try to get someone to read your personal statement um preferably uh a medical doctor a medical student um someone in pre-med but preferably someone who's already in medical school and someone who has already um gone through the process or if there's someone in the school that you're trying to get into you can also ask them to read your personal statement and if they feel if they feel comfortable with it you can ask to read their own personal statement um if they still have it ha 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 i don't still have mine mine is somewhere in the abyss but <laughs> these are some strategies that you can use to help you gauge how you should write that personal statement um and how you should um formulate that why um i think a medical student or a medical doctor will tell you whether or not this is cliche and i think they'll give you insight on what medicine really is about and that will help you to write your personal statement fourthly i'm not gonna say i had excellent scores but i had good scores i had good scores my ranking in school too was it was quite high i wasn't the first but it was quite high and my scores were good great it wasn't a 2300 but and i also the school that i went to also acquired another um entrance exam um so i had to take that too which helped to i guess increase how i looked too because it was a good score as well um my scores weren't bad honestly i put this on the bottom of my list because i know a lot of people they go crazy over scores honestly it might be more competitive now i wasn't i'm not gonna say i wasn't a competitive um student because i was <laughs> i am it's just that my scores were like yeah okay um but i think overall in my application you can see or you could see that i was very um compassionate about uh, medicine that i really wanted to go into this field also with all the things that i've done like you could you could tell that science was my thing math also loved math as well i still love math but then science and medicine kind of it, it took my heart um, away from it um but i still hope to you know include some math in my practice as well because Honestly, third, fourth year, I'm realizing that actually there's a lot of math included in um, the medicine, especially when you start practicing, because you need to know what fluids to administer, how much, which type, um, the dosaging. Yeah, there's math involved in that. So I'm looking forward to that. Huh? But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, work hard, get high scores, I would say, just to make you this to because my case is different again. I, I can't I don't really remember every single thing about my application. But these were some things that I know that definitely um, stood out for me as a candidate and as a that was the main reason why I made this video is because I want us to think critically, right? You're a 17 year old, you're 18. Imagine you are a program coordinator, right? You're someone who's about to accept wonderful and prestigious students into their program. 17 year olds in this generation, I think it's considered generation Z. Um, you know, this is about to be a seven year program and you have to stick to medicine for the next seven, six, eight years, depending on your program. What? How can you make them believe that you're go you're committed? What makes, what makes them think, what, how can you make them believe? And I hope you are believe that you'll stick it out that medicine is what you want to do for the next seven to eight years that you're going to stick that you're hard working and diligent enough to make sure that you stay in this program how can you show that you're passionate about medicine and that you're not just doing it because of the money that you're not just doing it because it's an easy way um to get into medical school you don't have to take the mcap for some programs you don't have to apply again you know these are all good things but um if someone else can take this opportunity, someone else who's passionate enough to take this opportunity, then just just leave it and go the regular route and find yourself. I'm not saying it's not it's not bad to find yourself. If you really really don't think that you're going to stick it out for the next however years, don't do it to yourself. But if you really believe that medicine is what you want to do, you've done enough experience, you're not a cliche candidate, like you, you've you seen what medicine entails and this is you know that this is what you want to do. Think about how you can relay this information, this story to 
the program coordinators or to the people who are going to admit you and who are going to be looking at your application. I think it's a ga it's a game of of chance, really. They're thinking, how likely is this student going to, to stay here? How are they going to be able to 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 get through the next few years? Do they have the grit? Do they have the diligence? As I mentioned before, what makes you that person? So think about it and make sure that your application um, your application can fit. I wouldn't say this mold because everyone is different, but how can you fit this narrative that you're committed? The The main thing is commitment. Are you committed to medicine? Are you committed to this program? Are you committed to finishing the next seven to eight years? If you ask yourself this question and you say no, don't do it. But <laughs> if you if but if you if, if you're sure that you can do this, then then go ahead. But even there's people who are sure that they can do this, but they don't show it through the application. So you have to know that this is what you want to do and you have to show it in your application because that's the only way that the program directors um, and coordinators will know. Yeah. So I wish everyone the best of luck during the season. Um, if you have any questions, definitely put it down in the comment section. Feel free to reach out to me. Again, this is another channel of Chiso, another episode, another episode of Chiso G. Let me know if there's anything else that you would like for me to share. But yeah, good luck and you got this. Bye.